So what's up Manchi here back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can sideload OTA images on your Google Pixel 7 or the Google Pixel 7 Pro. Now do note this process is going to work on other Pixel devices as well just that we are specifically going to use the Google Pixel 7 in this video. Now all the relevant links, all the prerequisites, all the videos which you need like installing drivers on videos, everything can be found in the description of this video so the first thing you need to do is you need to enable developer options on your pixel how do you do that well you go into settings then you go into about phone once you are in about phone you need to scroll down all the way you will see something called build number tap on this build number seven times once you do that if you have a pen or password set up you will be required to enter your pen or password and then you're going to get a toast notification that developer options have been enabled now if you go into settings and then if you go into system you will see a new option called developer options once you go inside this option scroll down you need to enable usb debugging now once you have enabled usb debugging the next thing you need to do is connect your phone to the computer using a usb cable now once you are on the computer you need to download adb and fast boot for your operating system and you have it available for windows mac and linux and this here is the official developer.android.com website i am doing this on a mac so i'm going to select mac you have to agree to the terms and conditions and there it is we are downloading it you can save it wherever you want to we are going to select save next thing you need is you need your full ota image for your pixel device so this here is google developers again android ota page for the terms and conditions you are going to acknowledge the terms and conditions and now on the right hand side you have a menu and a list of all the pixel devices and the nexus devices so here it is we need it for the google pixel 7 in my case so we are going to select google pixel 7 the code name for that is panther similarly the code name for pixel 7 pro is cheetah so we're going to select panther now this is all the ota images available for the google pixel 7 now we need the one which is january 2023 because i am already on the december 2022 build so this is the one which we are going to use now in certain cases they have different ota images for a specific carrier in this case you can see that for telstra they have a separate ota image so if you have telstra branded pixel 7 then you are going to use this one but i have the non telstra branded pixel 7 so i'm going to use this one select link and then all you need to do is save it on your desktop or wherever you want to save it of course this is around 2.1 gb so it is going to take some time now once you have downloaded adb and fastboot and the ota zip file i do suggest that you create a new folder and we can move these zip files inside this one folder so here it is this is adb and fastboot do note this is a zip file so we do need to unzip it and you can use any unzip utility which you want to i just double clicked on it and on my mac it unzipped with the inbuilt utility similarly you have an inbuilt utility for windows as well to unzip files now if i go inside this folder you will notice over here I have ADB and I also have fastboot inside this very folder. Do note Windows users need to install ADB and fastboot drivers. And how do you install that video for that can be found in the description of this video. Next thing you need to open command prompt in this specific folder. So Windows users all you need to do is select the address bar, make sure everything is highlighted and selected and type in CMD that is going to open the command prompt. For Mac and Linux users you can always go back to the main folder, 
right click on it and then if i go into services i get the option of new terminal at folder and herein if i do the command pwd or present working directory you will notice that i am in the platform tools folder the first command we are going to execute is to check whether our device is being detected in adb mode or not now mac and linux users using terminal need to enter dot slash before the command command prompt users do not have to add dot slash we are going to press the enter key and as you can see the daemon is not running it is going to start the daemon now you will notice that on my screen i have it as unauthorized that is because on my phone i should have a prompt to allow usb debugging and that is what you need to do you need to check mark that box and then say allow now if i execute adb devices one more time you will see that the device is now no longer unauthorized and it is being detected as device next thing we need to do is we need to reboot our phone into bootloader mode so the command for that is adb space reboot space bootloader and then we are going to press the enter key at this point your device is going to reboot into bootloader mode now once we are in bootloader mode we need to press the volume buttons to switch between the different options and as you can see once i do that i get different options so we need to go into recovery mode once you see recovery mode you can press the power button and that is going to boot us into recovery mode so we do have the google logo and now you have the green android what do you do here now once you see that green android with no command the trick here is to first press power button keep it pressed and then press volume up you will boot into your recovery here and you can again use the volume rockers to switch between the different options and use the power button to select so we need to select the option which says side load mode and once that one is highlighted you need to press the power button and then you will get a message to send whatever package you want to send now once we are on that screen and if you do adb devices one more time in your terminal or command prompt there it is you can see that my device right now is in side load mode the next command is to side load the zip file which we just downloaded so the command for that is adb space side load and then the name or the path of the zip file so it is as easy as selecting the file the ota file and then dragging and dropping it to your command prompt that is it once that is done all you need to do is press the enter key and there it is you can see that the zip file is being side loaded to my google pixel 7 again this process will take some time so you have to be patient now do note this side load process on your pixel 7 is going to first verify the zip file and then it is going to apply the ota update to your pixel 7 and of course all of these steps which it is doing will be visible on the display of your pixel 7 or the pixel 7 pro now once the process has finished successfully you are going to get step two of two on your phone and it will tell you that install completed with status zero and you will be back on the recovery screen now here and you can again use the volume buttons make sure that reboot system now is highlighted and selected and then we are going to press the power button to select that specific option and pretty soon we should boot back into android and there it is peeps that is how you side load an ota image on your google pixel 7 or the google pixel 7 pro or for that matter any google pixel out there and of course no data loss and at this point you can disconnect your phone from the computer